by the rules of the same game You say I'm just trying, just trying To have breakfast with Bob, oh yeah We are Pacho Man! Championship edition, we are brought to you by EAS Sports Nutrition Hoka One One, Polar Oska Wellness, Velo Fix We are at the beautiful Four Seasons Hualalai, and we are airing on triathlonworld.com. My next guest, the third place finisher yesterday, Heather Jackson. How you doing, Hello. Heather? <laughs> Not too bad. Just this isn't bad, sore, huh? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> this is really, really, <laughs> really nice. nice. I need to come up here. <laughs> so fifth last year, third this year. What was the difference? Oh man, yeah, I think. I think just having a year under your belt helps, knowing the race and knowing what I did last year, and yeah. then just having a year working with my new coach, Joe Gambles, and kind of working on the things that I could improve on for this year. My swim, I was able to cut that deficit this yes. year. Um, so I was so stoked about that. <laughs> well, and last year, you basically had to run your way up to fifth. Mm -hmm. You were already in a top five off the bike, so that's a nice yeah. position to be in. Yeah, that was... It was nice. It was a little nerve wracking. I didn't know if I had maybe overcooked it a little. Yeah. You never know here. It's you could have either hit your nutrition okay and you'll feel fine, or or not. And I had definitely pushed the bike trying to make my way up, and then yeah, fortunately uh, the nutrition was was good yesterday, and I had the energy and just settle into the pace and don't go out too hard. And right. So, yeah. <laughs> now, and when did you, uh, at, at one point, you moved into second, correct? I moved in, yeah, I moved into second in the energy lab, and that's the second part of the out and back yeah. um, that you have on course. And so I made it out for the turnaround there, and then I saw Rennie. You like, saw her, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, my God, she's flying. She's coming. I knew she was coming all day, so I was like, when's it going to be? And it was yeah. just... Yeah, <laughs> can you hold on? Like, well, nice knowing you. But the deal is, I mean, you, you still ran 307 off the bike and went 911 um, all day long. So, you know, it's 58, 56 swim. That's awesome. Sub one hour. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but as you're, when you guys are riding and Daniela was there, and then all of a sudden it was like she left. When, when did she take off? Um, I'm not sure when she went actually. Um, this year because uh, I only get to see from, from the Javi and yes. so from Javi she was already ahead with one per one girl who yes. I was trying to figure out it was Anya but yes. I was trying to figure out who is that yeah who is but that? then there was a gap to the girls that were usually still with her at right. that point so she I think she may be earlier yeah. and just yeah what was your gap at the end of the bike you remember um I want to say maybe 12 minutes? Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was like 12 minutes or so. So when that, when you're, you know, you're running in top three and the leader's up 12 minutes, at that point you just focus on what person who's in front of you, right? One at a time. Yeah, exactly. It was just all day I had Joe and Wadi out there like your race, it's your race, just focus on your race, what you can do and what we, I was literally out there running, just like pretending I was in Tucson, any other training run on Sunday. So it's take off my pace, don't worry about anything yeah. going around me, and just, yeah. What's interesting is Joe Gambles is still a competitive athlete, right? He's still a competitive triathlete, and he's coaching. What led you to have Joe coach you? Jo it's funny. Joe is the first triathlete I ever met in the sport of triathlon. Really? Uh, 2009. Wadi was helping him out on the agent side. Yeah. And I wasn't even in triathlon yet, and I went with Wadi to Boulder and met with Joe and met him and... Oh, so you weren't even doing triathlon. I was, this was post hockey. Uh, so. Yeah, I was racing the track at that point. Oh, that's right. You were doing and bike then, racing. Yeah, so I met Joe, and he's always been so supportive of me and helped me out here and there. And then this winter, he came to Bend um, yeah. to visit, and yeah, he did one swim with me and gave me like five things to work on. And that helped. Yeah, amazing, and just his attention to detail and communication and just the little details of everything and I'll load a workout and I hear from him like an hour later like it's 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 amazing and so it's been huge this year just to have that kind of back and forth and tweak this or tweak that and plan the entire season around Saturday and I think we hit it perfect and the lead up was great and I yeah I couldn't be happier. Was there a different pressure on you once you finished fifth coming in here because obviously more demands on your time more media things like that and you know and, and being an American athlete been sort of like we haven't had an American woman win since Karen Smyers in 95 was there more pressure coming in this year um there was there 
was definitely a little bit more media. More media. Um, and I think that American thing was played up this year. So yes, was. that was kind of cool. It never really kind of clicked. And then no. after last year, it was like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, represent the U.S. So <laughs> that was pretty cool this year. Um, the pressure side, um, I was just trying to, yeah, forget about that. It, just do no, your race. Yeah, like, okay, I could end up have a good race or I could end up, yeah. On the side of the road. Yes. <laughs> when did you feel you had it? The third place was, was in the bag. I to be honest, did not until I was like sprinting down a Lee because I was getting different uh, messages out there that someone was coming <laughs> and I wasn't sure if it was Kaisa or Anya. Yes. Um, but actually when Rini passed me, she was like, great job, H.A., just stay strong. There's someone else coming. <laughs> and I was I'm like, more information. Oh, crap. <laughs> like, so I was just trying to hold Rini as yes. best I could, just using her to pull me along in case someone was coming. And then... Um, yeah, I was getting splits. She was about a minute and a half. And so, uh, with about a mile to go, so I'm yeah. like, okay, I can hold that, but you just never know. So Oops. I was scared even on a Lee. So I didn't again, get the chance to like soak it up. Cause yes. I was still just head down, like just get to the line. And now do you, do you look back or you go, no, no, I don't want to look back. Yeah. I looked back at the shoot. Okay. Uh, oh, in the shoot. Yeah. To, yeah. At that point, so it's she like... wasn't there. Right. <laughs> And I think you're first American on the podium since like what '96 or something. It's been a long time. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah I know. I no yeah, you, you <laughs> sort of cool. you don't think about. It. We talk about it with the guys a lot, but we mm -hmm. you know, for some, whatever reason we haven't really talked about it that much. So now, do you shut it down, for or you do another race? Um, I actually get to head. I have the opportunity to race Challenge Aruba this that's year, right. an inaugural race. So that'll be super cool. Just. More fun, relaxing, but it'll there'll be, be fun. There'll be some <laughs> drinks with umbrellas. Yeah. I'm guessing there'll be some exactly. of that stuff. It's not going to be the most high-pressure event yeah, you've ever gone to. I don't think to. so. <laughs> so that'll well, be fun. What does it mean to you? To, it's one thing. We've seen a number of people over time. They get, they get in the top ten. They have that race, and then you know, they fall out of it. Or it, it's, it's very difficult to come back and, and get back. And not just get back in the top five, but to finish third and, and move consistently move up. Yeah, that was actually probably the most pressure I felt coming back because I got some hype off of last year's fifth, and y you never want to just be the the one time, like, yeah. oh, she one just had a wonder. good race. Yeah. And so I, I was pretty nervous about, okay, no, I, I believe I can do well here and wanted to back that up. And so, yeah, to actually be able to do that, and you have all these dreams and goals and aspirations, and to actually be able to execute is just, it's everything you could imagine because... It could have gone exactly the opposite. Sure. So I'm still just, yeah, it hasn't sunk in yet. And I'm so happy right now. <laughs> what is it about this island? Because you you obviously love it here and you've had great success here. What is it about this place that suits you? Um, I think it's just, yeah, it's such a tough course, if not the hardest course out there. You never know what you're going to get. And I think just the people here in the island and the just the whole Aloha vibe of like, this event having been here for 30 some odd years, yeah. like just it's history, it's significance. It's so many champions have, you know, won here, lo like lost here at crazy, crazy races, crazy performances, kind of sports history, sports legacy. It's just, I think that's cool in our sport that's not necessarily that old. And so yeah. for an event like this um, and for me, yeah, it's, it's my focus and, and dreams. And so, yeah, it's, it's a, awesome to come here every year and it'll be my focus the next <laughs> do you, few years. Do you have any of your old Princeton hockey buddies who like have lost touch and then all of a sudden, wait a second, Heather Jackson's doing this <laughs> Iron Man stuff and just took third? Any of those guys reaching out? Oh my God. Yeah. Like my phone died last night, so yeah. I didn't have it till this morning. I ch charged it all night and I turned it on this morning and I was like, I had messages from hockey friends, like soccer. I played soccer too. So just people I haven't heard from in years. My old, my hockey coach actually from Princeton texted me a congrats really? and some of my friends from junior high and high school so <laughs> who I haven't heard from at all I was like oh cool all of a sudden when you're in the paper right yeah. in the in the New York Times because you're on the podium then all of a sudden they come out of the woodwork yeah. that is so cool I love so. that Heather congratulations on an awesome awesome race great to have you on the podium thanks Bob Pacho man now I money but I Just try it, just try it. Breakfast with Bob and 
Heather.